Here we go, game five. Varum, Dylan, playing a competitive match. They're near the competitive scene and they have been showing some pretty fun matches. Okay, so we get the first ban out. It's looking like Valorant and a Valorant on Dylan's side. You already know what's about to happen. The Mashook is coming out. The the OP Mashook that everybody thinks is complete D tier. All right. So Barum made the mistake last time, not bringing out the Guileless. This time he's not making that mistake. Mashook with Madrid come out. Dylan loves that combo. So bringing in Madrid makes it to where Guileless has Death Pressure turn one. He brings in Volcrane. And the ban of Yukama. Interesting. So Kinu is going to see some action this game. I don't know how I feel about that. He's not going to ban Tatsuru. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, the Tatsuru ban would have been amazingly sick. All right. So he bans out Platinus. And now we got a double pick. So a really interesting thing about this double pick is he cannot pick Kazuma. He's forcing him into running Baboon and Madrid which is what he picks. And here is, is he, he picks Oshiara, he can pick Azuma. Okay, so here we go. Gylus, Volcrane with the Mashuk Madrid. Oshiara is gonna be the, the flex pick in order to kill out Volcrane and cause kill pressure. He has the Mashuk combo. He can paralyze on an Oshiara switch and get a sick knockout on Volcrane. And he can do it turn one. He can do it right now. Okay, so what he can do is switch right now with his uh, with his Mudrid. Go into Oshiara, paralyze Poison, double tick on Poison, and Ice Shuriken. It's such a sick combo. And he, he won't even see it coming because he hasn't done it in any of the games. I, I really, really, really hope Dylan understands this right now. Please, Dylan, do it. I believe. Oh, man. Which is out, Guileless. Brings in Gazuma. Oh, he didn't do it. He instead does a double tick on Volcrane, which is still a really, really good start. I don't think, I don't think uh, Barum knew that it would, had effectiveness with Mudrid. When he picked Gylus with the Volcrane on second pick, uh, it, it was, I would say, pretty questionable. He had double effectiveness with Mudrid on board. So he has Gazuma out. I'm actually really curious on why he does. Uh, I just, I guess I don't, I just don't see why. Heat up on Baboon. Get the Baboon heat up. He has Fighting Type. Madrid's gonna get a retreat automatically. He knows that the Fighting Type is gonna be able to knock him out or deal a, quite a bit of damage early on. He needs to get a second pick. He brings in Kinu. Start. He's about to start off the combo he did in game two. He really, really, really likes the defense buffs onto Mashuk, right? Baboon is a huge physical. Oh, not huge. Okay. Okay. He's a. He's an average physical attacker, but he has heat up to allow him to run his uppercut to deal quite a bit of damage regardless if it actually has effectiveness or not. So Mashuk, uh, Dylan knows this, he runs Mashuk with block, getting plus two defense, and then now he has Kinu that can buff him with even more defense if possible, and revitalize. So if he uses um, revitalize every other turn, and uh, the regrowth on Kinu, so he constantly gains health for the next seven turns, it's going to create a huge amount of survivability. And the problem with this is Volcrane is already knocked out. So he can't do anything to Kinu because he got knocked out turn one. So it's looking really, really tough for Baroom right now. And Dylan is looking amazing. He's got a 5-4 to four Temtem Edge. He has a really good setup already. Let's see how things go out. So Paralyzing Poison, exactly what he likes to do. Baboon cannot leave now. So he's already got the heat up. And he has a lot of ways to deal damage. He just has no effectiveness on the board. Electric Storm from Kazuma is going to do a pretty decent amount of damage. Uh, they have no way to gain extra special defense. So he's going to run Stonewall on Kinu, get some defensive stats up. Um, sorry, you ran it on Mashuk. 
So he gets plus one special, plus four defense. So he's going to be taking no damage from Baboon at all, and there's nothing they can do about it. And remember, if you have plus one, it's still 33% less damage done to you. You gain 50% special defense off of one plus one move. So he runs Inner Spirit. It's in, in, in theory supposed to do a lot of damage. It's going to do nothing. It does 10% at half damage. He has plus four defense. He gets Benefactor. He heals it right back up. And he's going to run the life all sap healing on Kinu. He has enough defense. He's going to start using Revitalize on Mashuk. It's looking really good for him. Let's see how this turn is going to play out because Dylan's already got the setup of the Kinu Mashuk combo. If he throws in Gylas, it's not going to be strong enough. And if he throws in Mudred, it's kind of the only choice he really has to show kill pressure on Kinu. So right here, he gets the heal back up. He's only taking technically 50% of the damage that should happen. Tireless, he takes no exhaustion damage. He runs Lullaby. Kinu is just so good in this current meta. So both are asleep. Now... Oh, he takes the poison damage though. So poison damage will wake you up. So they're not actually asleep. Lullaby was a waste. So right now, he need Kinu needs to run revitalize on Mashuk, and Mashuk is going to be resting this turn. I I think even if he runs Crystal Bite and and Beam onto Mashuk, I I, I still think he lives. I think the Revitalize is going to hit first. Kinu is faster, I believe. Actually, Beam will hit beforehand, but I think it's still going to live with about 3%, 5% health. I don't know if Barum can actually break this setup that he has here. I think Dylan's trying to think if he has to bring out Mashuk. He knows the Electric Beam is going to go out, but he brings in Oshiara. A little questionable. I'm a little confused. I think he's going to take quite a bit of damage here. Oh, he used Windblade! Oh no! Stonewall. Onto the Oshiara. Giving him the defense so that Mudred is not going to be able to use Crystal Bite to deal much damage. The only problem here now is Electric Storm. If he uses Electric Storm, he's going to put him into Exhaustion damage. And he can't run anything afterwards. He's gonna do it anyways though. So Aquatic Whirlwind into Kazuma and knocking it out before he's even able to get the attack off. Who knew Oshiura had more speed than the Kazuma? I actually forget what the priority is on Oshiara's Whirlwind. Sorry, not Whirlwind, Aquatic. Baboon really needs to run a fire type. Baroom, I agree, but he did have a fire type. He had Volcrane. He just got knocked out turn one. I think the problem with it was is he had Volcrane out, right? He should not have picked turn 2, I believe, only because he literally picked into a double counter. He knew that if he doesn't switch out turn 1 with Gylas and with uh, Volcrane, he's going to take a massive amount of damage if he picks uh, Volcrane in his starting lineup. I think the real thing, or the real like reason why he did that is because he did not want him banned out, but because of that, he just put him in a really, really bad spot to cause a double swap turn one or else he dies. Crystal Dust on the Oshiara. At this point, I mean, everything is set up right. Everybody has the defense. He has full combo potential. With Kinu, he still has. He still has the Oshiara doing pretty good amount of damage. He can still switch out as well. Uh, Oshiara, the whole reason why he even has Oshiara is for the Volcrane counter. Uh, so, I mean... Killing the Oshara isn't really going to do anything because he still has full effectiveness with all of his other Temtems with Kinu and Mashuk.
I'm trying to think of what he can actually do because he has Guileless, Mudroid, Baboon. I just don't see it doing well. All he's trying to do is deal as much damage as possible with Oshiara and then letting him die. Uppercut onto Mastion, bringing him down to 50% health. Meteor Swarm getting a lot of damage. It's probably, yep, a single knockout on Madrid and Baboon is here. Cannot be switched out because he's only got one or two time times left. Gotta put them both on the field. And it's looking really, really, really good. 4-2. Four, 4-2 two. Four, two for Dylan. He's gonna... I forget what the priority for Uppercut is, but I don't think it actually matters. And he can only use Show Off turn 1. So Baboon does not have more speed than Oshiara. Oshiara's gonna commit suicide, making it a 3-1, but I just don't see Goliath, Gaius doing a, two, a 3v1. Or a 1v3, I'm sorry. He can get the kill on Mastion. Possibly. So Mashuk comes out, it's got 4 defense, remember, it's got plus 4 to defense, which means it's got about 300 defense. I don't actually know if Hiroyuchu or Uchi actually can kill the Mashuk. Even if it does, Mastion is 93-93. Yeah, it's gonna die. Mastion's gonna kill him. Even if he does get the kill on Mashuk. So he can do sharp stabs. He can do sharp stabs on a Mastion. He's gonna do a switch. And he's gonna come in. Oh my god. Wait, is this gonna be a 1v3? What? I don't think when I saw his moveset on Kinu, he didn't have kill pressure. Oh no, it's 22 stamina! He has 22 stamina! Attack on Gylus, he's going to- Oh no! Or did he know that a mass down was coming in? If he did, he should have done a lower- A lower stamina attack. Oh man. He's gonna overexert and he's gonna die to Mashuk. He needed to deal damage to Mashuk and still somehow get a kill on him, even though he has plus 4 defense, but... A really, really good showing by both players. Dylan taking it 3-2. Really, really good games.